beautiful and we automatically think perfect. What do I have to do to be perfect? You look at these models or celebrities and you want to be just like them, but what you really have to do is just look at yourself and accept yourself because you are beautiful. I think your most beautiful you means how you feel the most beautiful as. Whatever makes you happy, whenever you look in the mirror, whatever makes you feel the most confident. Try not to think of what, how other people look and try to focus on whatever makes you feel the most beautiful and the most important of all is what makes you feel like you. In order for me to feel the most confident when it comes to makeup, I love to prime my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and then I'll take one of my favorite foundations and it's by CoverGirl. This is a 3-in-1 foundation in the color Nude Beige and I like to place this all over my face lightly. I prefer a very light coat of foundation and that's what makes me feel the most beautiful. If you love that full coverage glam look every day, you rock it girl. It doesn't matter what anybody tells you, what anybody thinks about you, even if you think if they tell you that's too much makeup, you just do what makes you happy because this is all about what makes you feel beautiful. Then I take one of my favorite drugstore concealers and this is by Maybelline and it's the Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light. And I'll place this underneath my eyes and on some problem areas. And then I like to take a beauty blender and blend it out. I honestly feel like the beauty blender makes the foundation and concealer very beautiful and makes it look flawless. And I honestly feel like my skin looks radiant when I use this. So of course it makes me feel confident. Step I do is take my Hello Flawless powder and this is my favorite powder of all time by Benefit and it's in the color ivory and I'll take some on a fluffy brush and place this all over my face so I can get that nice matte finish. A matte face makes me feel the most confident and the most beautiful because I honestly don't like the way I look shiny and I prefer that flawless looking matte face and I also drag this down my neck you want to make sure that you cover the neck as well so it doesn't look like your face is just painted. And if you guys enjoy that dewy skin, you go ahead and take a dewy foundation or any foundation of your choice that has that shine in it. But since I have very oily skin, I would like to use this powder and a matte foundation. Then the next step is I'm just taking a light brown eyeshadow and I'm filling in my eyebrows. I have sparse areas in my brows, so filling them in is a must for me. And if you feel the same way, then I suggest you do so. Then I'm taking a spoolie so I can comb through all that hair and all that product so that I, so your eyebrows can look more natural. Then, this is my thing, I take a red lip liner and I place it over my eyebrows because I have red hair and I honestly some people do not agree with this and they think red eyebrows look weird and unnatural but I honestly love it and it makes me feel beautiful and that's all what this video is about. Now that your face is done, this is how I like my face to look, I'm going to go into the eyes. You can never go wrong with a brown eyeshadow or a brown smoky eye so I'm just taking salted caramel from the chocolate bar palette which is one of my favorite palettes right now which makes me feel the most beautiful when getting dolled up. And I'm going to blend this into my crease and we're going to do a cool cat eye effect in our eyes later so this is just our transition color. 
I'm then taking a darker brown and taking a credit card, which isn't in use anymore, obviously. And I'm just placing that there. I feel like this is better than using tape because you're not going to put tape there that's going to ruin the skin. I'm not saying that if you use tape, it ruins your skin, but I feel weird when I do that. And then I don't feel like having to reapply foundation there again. So I just like to put my credit card there and it gives you that same sharp line. So if you guys are wondering how to create that sharp line, I suggest you use a card or anything like that. Then I'm taking a darker brown eyeshadow and placing it on the lower lash line as well. And you can see me do this from two different angles. Just blending some more also because with this look it can get messy. Then I'm taking an extra dark chocolate eyeshadow and I'm going to make a more cat-like look. And I'm using my card for precision. So I would suggest that if you guys don't have that artistic ability of staying in a straight line, you can use a card. Some people have a really steady hand. I would say that I have a steady hand, but I just wanted to demonstrate this for you guys. Then I'm going to take a gold eyeshadow and I'm going to pop that in the middle of my eyelids. I, gold in the middle is one of my favorite kind of eye makeup looks you could do. And it makes me feel very confident. A winged eyeliner always makes me feel confident as well. So that's why I'm using this winged eyeliner because I honestly feel like very glam when I have a winged line. And also placing black eyeliner on my lower waterline makes me feel like that too. So then I'm going to take my favorite black mascara and I'm going to place this all over my eyelashes. A lot of the times people wear falsies, but I honestly don't feel the most beautiful when I wear falsies. So I'm not going to wear falsies today. And here are my eyes. Bronzer makes me feel very confident. His cheeks are very, it's very flattering. And I just love the way it looks. And I like the way it turns out. It looks great with almost every makeup look, I think so. And it looks great with also this eyeshadow look. I'm just going to be using bronzer for today. Then I'm going to take a highlight and I honestly do feel the most confident when I have a highlight on my cheekbones. For some reason it just makes everything look glamorous and I honestly love feeling glamorous. I think a lot of girls like to feel glamorous and they want to feel pretty and a highlight is just that. It just does that. And when you place it over your lip and on the, and on the tip of your nose, it just looks amazing and flawless. I'm going to create a red lip and I'm using Cherry by MAC to outline my lips. Then Lancome Smoky Rouge lipstick. And this is a darker red lipstick and I like the darker reds. And I'm going to take Buxom Betty lip gloss and it's going to give me a very glossy glam lip. And this is all what I'm going for is retro glam. So here is the completed look. Honestly, it doesn't matter what type of girl you are. If you're this laid back kind of girl, big t-shirt, I like to be in my PJs type of girl all day, you go ahead. But if you would imagine yourself to be a glamorous like Hollywood star, it doesn't need to be a dream. You can make it a reality. But if that's not what you're all about, then you will go ahead and accept yourself for who you are and not look at what society wants you to be. Because for the longest time, I struggled with that. And finally, I lo I'm looking in the mirror and accepting myself and accepting every part and saying, this is me and this is how I feel the most beautiful. It's, you don't have to get dressed up or dolled up or anything like that, but every girl wants to feel happy and pretty and of course they're most beautiful so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one bye guys